She can't speak Kannada, and the women with her, like Mariamma, can't read or write. But the language barriers haven't stopped Indrani Medhi, a postgraduate student from Illinois in the United States, to try and take her computer to the masses. Her mission in life to deliver the benefits of e-technology she's mastered to the hundreds of millions still illiterate. I think for this target population, there's also this sort of trepidation that is caused by one's social standing. They live in very uh, low technology environments and uh, you know do not get exposed to computing technology on a very regular basis. So the moment they see an expensive device, they sort of intimidated that you know they break the device. So just helping them you know get rid of their fears and getting them to use the computers was quite challenging. I think. But the real challenge was to design an interface that would make it possible for those who can't read or write to understand the use of a computer. That's why Indrani designed user interfaces in the computer which are text-free. For instance, a job search would be through an audiovisual graphic interface which takes the user step by step from simulating the doorbell to asking for your salary. Somebody who has no previous exposure to computing uh, never seen a computer earlier is non-literate on first interaction with a computer or a mobile phone uh, can realize useful interaction with minimal or no assistance <laughs> in the end the idea is to help women like Lakshmi a domestic help to use a computer to find jobs on the net we didn't know how to even switch off and switch on a computer. Indrani taught us how to use it for our work and so much more. Women like Lakshmi are only the beginning of what could be a revolution. At the moment Indrani's experiment is still on a small scale, but she's perfecting the process through her research at the Microsoft Research Laboratory in Bangalore. We're often going to Indrani to ask for advice. You know, how should I present this? So this class of users can understand what's happening here. So it's a very valuable resource in the lab for a lot of us. And it's Indrani's research that could bridge that divide between all those still illiterate and the IT revolution.